Hotel Provincial Park. In charge is Dr. A.J. Moradia. What you see in this film is the White Shell Nuclear Research Establishment in action. Even at this early stage in the development of nuclear science, atomic energy is beginning to transform the world around us. Electricity is being produced today in practical Canadian nuclear power plants. By 1985, one half of all of the power developed in Canada is expected to be of nuclear origin. However, we are now only at the Model T stage in these developments. To fully exploit all that nuclear science has to offer requires laboratories like this. Here we devote ourselves to the development of the new technologies and materials needed to make a better and more fruitful life for us all. The reactor control room is the nerve center of a highly complex operation. Here the condition of all systems associated with the operation of the research reactor are monitored. Skilled technicians keep the reactor operating around the clock. Signals indicating critical reactor conditions are fed to the protective system, which automatically shuts the reactor down if a condition exceeds a specified safe limit. White shell reactor number one is cooled with an organic liquid, a development which gives Canada a first in the world. Nuclear energy is becoming a major source of economic electricity. The research and development projects at White Shell are aimed at uncovering new fuels, coolants and other materials for use in improved Canadian reactors. The large moving column is called a fuel transfer flask. Inside this 45 ton flask, nuclear fuel is transferred to and from the reactor. The reactor is beneath the circular steel deck plate on the floor. Most Canadian reactors use heavy water as the moderator in the fission process and heavy water as the primary cooling agent. The experimental reactor here is the first to use an organic liquid as a coolant. As a result, we have in Western Canada a unique program to test organic coolants and other potential means of making more economical use of the atom in the production of power. In the research and development building, scientists, technicians, and skilled workers combine their knowledge, talents, and efforts in studies and experimentation. The public is welcome to visit the site and watch scientists at work, and probably most fascinating is the area for fuel examination. These are known as the hot cells. The windows of the hot cells vary from 24 to 42 inches in thickness and consists of layers of a specially leaded glass with a light oil between the layers. The hot cells enable the safe handling of radioactive materials and thereby permit the beginning of several complicated testing and analysis techniques. Fuels and materials are brought to the hot cells from the reactor and are measured and examined to show how well they stood up to irradiation. Fuel is examined by a variety of methods, photography, chemical analysis, gamma ray scanning, and tensile testing for strength. Radiation chemistry employs a machine known as a Van de Graaff accelerator. It is being used here to investigate the radiation chemical behavior of materials. Another use is to study chemical changes in materials using the techniques of pulse radiolysis. 
This is similar to the action that takes place in an ordinary television picture cube. In this technique, transmitted light is used to observe reactions that occur so swiftly they are measured in millionths of a second. In the counting room of the analytical chemistry section, work is being done as part of fuel reprocessing studies to analyze the new elements given off by split uranium atoms. Gamma ray detectors are employed and the results are read off the chart recorder. Another of the complex testing machines is the mass spectrometer. White shell spectrometer is used mainly to measure the burn-up of nuclear fuel. This means that the nuclear fuel is tested after it has been withdrawn from the reactor to determine how efficiently it has been used or burned. When the measurements are complete, they not only show how efficiently the fuel has performed, but also provide valuable information on how efficiently the nuclear reactor itself has used the fuel and provided energy. In addition to its reactor-based research, radiation chemistry, nuclear material science, reactor fuels development, and radiation physics, Whiteshell has laboratories for the study of medical biophysics and environmental control. The whole body counter measures the amount of radioactivity present in human beings or animals. Because of its high level of sensitivity, the machine has been used to measure the lean body mass of humans in relation to the amount of potassium present. Several medical doctors in Winnipeg have used this facility in their own research. The highly sensitive gamma radiation detector is housed in a large steel enclosed room so as not to be affected by any outside natural radiation from the sun or any other source thus permitting highly accurate measurements. This device has many possibilities as yet untried for future development of scientific medical research. The medical biophysics group is involved in many studies. In the nerve axon lab, scientists study the effects radiation has on the ability of nerve membranes to transmit nerve impulses. White shell has been described as a completely self-supporting integrated unit. It is here where new technologies are developed, new products and machines designed or invented. From here, Canadian industry gets advancements in products, ideas and methods. Scientists, draftsmen, technicians and clerical staff provide a continuing flow of essential services. The many support functions are geared to a high level of efficiency. Much of the equipment for experiments is made on the site, from the designing of parts for apparatus and machines to the development and manufacture. All services, including a complete up-to-date reference library, are geared to achieving the final goals.
Visitors are taken on guided tours on a regular schedule. They see for themselves the development of peaceful uses of atomic energy. The young men and women of the White Shell Nuclear Research Establishment at Pinawa, Manitoba are each day adding strength to the foundation on which the Canadian nuclear industry can continue to grow. This is the task to which they are dedicated. 